At four, schools have until the first of the year to draw plans on how to get rid of lead in their water supply. Some local schools have already completed testing. Others are close behind. Michael Hoffman is in Bolivar with how much lead may be in the water. Michael? Well, Lee, I spoke with a company that conducted hundreds of tests across the state and in 10,000 different samples I'm told that they found as much as 30 percent of those samples samples tested were high in lead content. Now I'm at the Bolivar Primary School where testing and remediation is not completed. Now school leaders say they have the EPA's guidelines but when it comes to the stricter state standards there are two water fountains this is one other one located in the school that have not met those stricter criteria from I'm told we already have plans in place to knock that number down. Our hope is to have everything completely tested and remediated by the January 1 date. Schools across the Ozarks have hit the ground running to meet the deadlines of the Get Lead Out of School Drinking Water Act. And, uh, All of the water from the fountains in Bolivar schools fall below state requirements except for two at the primary school. Two water fountains came up in what is the oldest part of our district. So this building was built in 1960, the original part. So we have an assumption that we have some copper pipes that likely have lead soldering in them. Now we don't know that yet, but we're working on that. Other schools like Salem are running into different issues. They've done their first round of testing and are waiting on the results for the second round but they're taking a little longer than expected. We're really trying to uh, be patient. I would anticipate us getting something back within the next week or two. And so then we can really look at our results and, and start to make those, those changes and, and, uh, and make sure that we're keeping our kids safe. One of the reasons that tests are taking longer than expected can be chalked up to the sheer volume of tests hitting the lab. We've been nonstop uh, every week as we just kept getting more and more schools calling us. And it's been great, really. Um, right now, we're currently booked out to about three weeks. Bob says these tests are incredibly important in more ways than one. It's all about helping the kids. And, and it's not just the kids, but also the staff. Because if you actually look into it, it only takes one microgram of lead to give a child lead toxicity. And then the treatment for that is incredibly painful. Um, I, I saw that and I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to do something. Again, the deadline to have the plan in place is January 1st of 2024, while the deadline to complete the testing and remediation is in August of 2024. Reporting live in Bolivar, I'm Michael Hoffman, KY3 News.